Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in the previous video on control systems, we discussed about the concept of uh, poles and zeros and about drawing the pole zero plot, the pole zero diagram. So in this video, we are going to discuss some uh, related concepts and today's topic of discussion is about the type and order of a system and it will be determined from the open loop transfer function and the closed loop transfer function okay so before we discuss about type and order let us just uh, uh, review some important concepts that a control system is represented like this we have the forward path gain this is the output let's say it's represented by CS this is the feedback path gain This is the summer block, this is the negative feedback and this is the input and these are all in S domain, Laplace domain. Now the open loop transfer function is given as the product of the forward path gain and the feedback path gain. And the closed loop transfer function is given by the expression this. Okay. This is for negative feedback. Okay. For negative feedback. In positive feedback, the only change is that it will become 1 minus GSHS. Here it is negative feedback, that's why the closed loop transfer function is GS by 1 plus GSHS. Now, where all of this will get used? So, this denominator of the closed loop transfer function okay this denominator 1 plus GSHS 1 plus GSHS it is called as the characteristic equation of the system okay characteristic equation of the system okay and from this characteristic equation, we will determine the order of the system. And from the open loop transfer function, from the open loop transfer function, we will determine the type of the system. So from the characteristic equation, we'll get the order of the system. And from the open loop transfer function, we'll determine the type. So here, the a good understanding about open loop transfer function, closed loop transfer function and the characteristic equation that comes into play. So that's why I just uh, <coughs> reviewed all this. Okay, now let us consider an open loop transfer function which is given as GSHS is equal to k into s plus 1 by s into s plus 2 into s plus 3. Now we have already discussed about the concept of poles and zeros. Now in this open loop transfer function we have one 
zero and three poles. The one zero is at s equals to minus one. If we put s equals to minus one here, this numerator will become zero and GSHS will be equal to zero. Now poles. Now the three poles are at s equals to zero, s equals to minus two and s equals to minus three. If we put any of these values here in this uh, open loop transfer function, the denominator will become zero and the system will tend to infinity. The open loop transfer function will be undefined, will be tend to infinity. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is this. This S term here. This S term is what determines the type of the system, which is the pole at origin. Now the type of a system, the definition of the type of a system is the type of a system is the number of poles at origin that is at s equals to 0 how many poles are there now in this open loop transfer function the power of s is 1 okay s to the power 1 so type of the system is equal to 1 okay the type of the system is 1. Now suppose if the system would have been k into s plus 1 by s square into s plus 2 plus s plus 3 then the number of poles at origin would have been 2 okay s square number of poles at origin would have been 2 because the power of s is 2 and in that case, the type of the system would have been 2. If it would have been S cube, then the type of the system would have been 3. So simply, if this term, okay, the number of poles at origin, simple S term, if it is of the form S to the power n, then the type of the system is equal to n. The type of the system is equal to n. So this S term, the number of poles at origin in the denominator of the open loop transfer function is very important. If it has a power of n, it means there are n poles at origin of the open loop transfer function and the type of the system is equal to n. So this is the concept of type of a system. So the type of a system is defined for open loop transfer function, not for closed loop transfer function. Means normally when we say type, it refers to automatically the open loop transfer function. Okay. So do not consider the closed loop transfer function. Always consider the open loop transfer function for the type of a system. So this is all about type of a system.